Hi, I'm David Buys, your MSU Extension State Health Specialist, and I'm joined today by Dr. Cliff Story, the Executive Director of University Health Services at Mississippi State University, to talk with you in our series on conversations about coronavirus. Dr. Story, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So I wanted to get a physician on camera with us to talk a little bit about what coronavirus really is. What is it? What is this thing we're talking about? So coronavirus is a virus. It's a type of virus. Flu is a type of virus. Rhinoviruses, adenoviruses, coronaviruses. There are other viruses. This is a new type of coronavirus. You've probably had a coronavirus in the past. It causes symptoms of a common cold. But this is a new coronavirus, a new virus that we've not had in humans. It was detected recently in Wuhan, China in January. And it causes a disease called COVID-19. Okay, okay, so it's new and that's, that's what makes this um, interesting. Speak to, the, uh, speak to the symptoms, if you will. So COVID-19 is a disease caused by coronavirus and it's a respiratory illness. So it's somewhat similar to the flu, maybe more severe, but it has symptoms of cough and fever and shortness of breath. You might again feel like you have the flu, uh, but it is a respiratory illness um, causing cough, fever, shortness of breath. So who is most affected? by this? Are their populations more at risk than others? Yeah, there are. You know, a lot of people are concerned about COVID-19 and coronavirus. We see a lot of scary things on TV. The fact is most people, 98, 99%, 99% will do fine with it. The ones at risk though are those that are immunocompromised, maybe over 50 or 60 years old, that have chronic illnesses like diabetes or high blood pressure or some sort of cancer. Uh, so the more chronically ill you are, the older you are, the higher risk you are for contracting or having more serious side of, uh, symptoms from the COVID-19. So I start to experience those symptoms. What's next? Where do I go? What do I do? Yeah, it's, so it's real important to take care of your health care. So seek medical attention as soon as you can. But call first before you come in. Make sure to give us an idea of what's going on so we can expect your arrival and we can be better equipped and prepared to take care of your illness. That's great. You know, Dr. Story, yesterday we were in a meeting together and you mentioned this idea of flattening the curve. Can you tell our listeners a little bit more about what, what does that really mean? Yeah, so flattening the curve means normally when a virus or illness hits a community, we'll have a peak in cases and then that peak will die off. That peak can overwhelm the healthcare facilities, the healthcare system if it's a large peak. So if we can decrease and contain the virus and kind of spread out the number of viruses among the community, we're lessening the burden on the healthcare system. We're buying more time to understand what the virus is, and we're better, better able to equip and educate the community at large to help protect those, especially who are more vulnerable for the illness. I think that's a really important bit of information for us to consider because what I'm hearing you say and what I'm reading uh, is that the symptoms of, of COVID-19 or coronavirus are, are not gonna be that bad for, for an average healthy person like myself or like you, but we, but, but we need to be mindful of those around us in the greater healthcare system. And, and the reason that we need to engage in these preventive measures, this notion of social distancing, right? So, so, so staying away um, at least three feet from people in a clinic or six feet away from people um, in a normal social situation. Those, those kind of things can help us minimize the likelihood of the spread of the disease. Well, you're right. We want to take care of our own health. Obviously, right. everybody's cons we're worried about our health. Am I going to get COVID-19? And there are those things you can do, the social distancing, the hand washing, all of those hygiene type principles. But we do want to keep it as much as a possible lower incidence in the community. We want to have fewer infections. We want to protect especially those vulnerable people. That's great. Thanks so much for joining us, Dr. Story. Thank you. Yeah, and thank you listeners and viewers for being with us today on this episode of Conversations About Coronavirus. I'm David Byes, your MSU Extension State Health Specialist. Join us next time. Stay vigilant and stay healthy.